Thanks a lot. Let's go. Thank you. Not just in Escondido. We have great police in Escondido. We're very privileged to live in this town. All of us. Of all colours. But if we don't support our police today, and if we don't get out like they're getting out, we won't have a police force. Because these are, just like me and you, these ladies and gentlemen who work for these PDs, they have families. They don't want to get shot. They don't want to get spit at. They don't. They're here. They took an oath to serve us. If we keep, if we keep hearing the message from the for people that they don't want to serve anymore, they won't. Let's hear it for them. They're right there. Come on. I know. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. So real quick, real quick, I want to drag this out. Real quick, I want to drag this out. It's a small community here, and it's great that we have all these people out here. But what we need to do is, what we need to do is, we need to get out more and show a presence. Because in El Segundo, I would guarantee that at least 85% of the population not only supports our police, right. but supports American family values. Right. I'm not going on the LGBT thing because it's not, I'm not about that. I get where you're coming from. I think it shouldn't be in the schools. But this is about unity. We won't have unity unless we get out and show support, right. not just for our PD, but for our country, for that flag. I'm an immigrant. I would die for that flag. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not winding you up. I would because I understand how privileged I am not to be white. I grew up fucking abstract poverty. I'm human. I'm very to be American. Yes. To be in America. Yes. If you can, tell your friends, spread the word. If we have another rally, get more people out because that 85%, a lot of them are scared to show up. Wow. They're scared to be doxxed by that. that crazy lady who was a minute ago, and she is by the way, I'm not she's, saying, a she's nuts, she's running around calling everybody racist, and everybody's just backing off because of it, people are terrified, if we get people out and people show up, they'll see that they have allies, and that they are not alone, Yes. they, they will come out, that's how it started, that's how the revolution started, but you ha people have to make the effort, we don't have to be violent, let them be violent, that's their thing. They're going to be that way anyway. You're not going to change. You don't even want to indulge with them. They are not going to change their viewpoint. So if you could, next time we organize a rally to come out, please, please, get your family and friends to come out. Even if they're not from El Segundo, get them to come out and show that we are patriots. We're Americans. We are not racists. And this is a great city. I've lived here 32 years and I've yet to meet a member of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> I met a Black Panther three weeks ago. Were they burning stuff? Right here, speaking oh. for BLM. I had a good conversation with that young man. I never changed his mind. I don't want to. I wanted to plant seeds. So you know what that guy did for yeah, those of you who weren't here? What? He got up and got on the mic and said, I want to speak because I just spent 30 minutes talking to a guy over there and I learned a lot and he learned a lot. And I think we should, and he's talking about the same thing, unity. All right. That's how it All works. Right. Each one, we each one. To, we have to get the numbers out.